And this year, COVID-19 brought new options for how students learn. And now that the first nine weeks is down, there were some changes ahead for the next nine weeks in Leon County. Our ABC 27's Jada Williams is live at Sable Palm Elementary. And Jada, what will the next nine weeks look like for students in the classroom? Well, Ava, it is a school semester like no other for the next nine weeks. Some of those classrooms will be getting bigger and schools like Sable Palm are adding those finishing touches all to accommodate the changes. After nine weeks of smaller classrooms, masks and social distancing, change is coming to Leon County Schools. Next month, an additional 3,500 students will return back to the classroom for the second nine weeks of school, a move the district allowed after keeping COVID-19 cases low. I'm just Tickle pink is how things have gone thus far. At Sable Palm Elementary, the change in class size means a change for teachers. To maintain smaller class sizes and social distancing, some teachers will be moved around to teach different grade levels. Other teachers will transition from teaching on the online platform to in-person students. We basically have propped up two independent school systems running simultaneously for those children in, at home and those children physically in our schools. And we've done a really good job of it. Having these devices is only going to make the experience better. To help students continue to adapt through the school year, the district will roll out Chromebooks to all students by Thanksgiving. DeSoto Trails and Cop Middle School are part of the district's pilot program. Tuesday and Wednesday after school, we have a drive through open in the front parking lot where our parents can come through with um, the device that we checked out with them before so they can bring the clunky big large desktop back. The district says these pilot programs are important to help them catch and fix issues that could impact the entire district. Distribution for those laptops will start next Monday for all of the schools in the district and it'll start with the Title I schools. Now as for the second nine weeks, that begins next Tuesday. Reporting live from Sable Palm Elementary School, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada.